On Wednesday, oil prices rebounded after Trump signaled new tensions with Iran, probably just to meddle with the oil prices. Canadian CPI rose in March on a year-on-year -year basis, but went down from a 2.2% gain in February. The Eurozone Consumer Price Confidence fell to minus 22.7 in April, and the UK inflation hit 1.5% as coronavirus lockdown continues to bite. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Thursday, we'll be looking at Japan's CPI numbers for March. And today I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair, which is following along with our strategy from the beginning of the month and slowly but surely inching towards the upper band of its normal range. However, the bullish process may find itself in further delay as the pair seems to have gotten trapped in a triangle chart pattern. While the pair remains above the daily Ichimoku cloud, the 0.972 resistance level appears to have gained strength. With that, we could see a bit of a pullback towards 0.96 before further long-term gains. Will you be shorting or longing the dollar Swissy pair? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.